Hi, I'm Joe with Algo Cleanup, and today I'll be discussing folks finance and the best strategy with their G Algo ASA and how to utilize it throughout the Algorand ecosystem. So to begin with, folks finance is a lending and borrowing protocol, but they're much more than that. They have been very busy. They've made partnerships with NFD, non-fungible domains. They've made partnerships with Algoana. They've made partnerships with Tinyman, having a specific reward pool, farming pool on Tinyman, but also allowing you to use Tinyman LP tokens as collateral on their platform. So they have been very busy. There's a lot to show, a lot of features and functionality we'll go over, but after we discuss all those features and functionality, I'll be showing you how the best strategy to utilize the Gialgo within the Algorand ecosystem. And the second topic that I'm gonna spend some time discussing in today's video is NFT utility. So these two topics go hand in hand. Um, specifically, we'll be looking at Tiny Man's NFT utility with their Tiny Gachi NFT, but we'll also be discussing some of the interesting projects on the Algorand ecosystem and some speculation on what NFT utility may be to come. So it's a very exciting time. I'm very excited to be involved with Algorand. There's so many exciting things happening and folks finance is one of the leading protocols that is really blending the NFT space and uh, the bridge space and the lending and borrowing protocols and really bringing all these different pillars of DeFi together and really integrating them um, so they're not siloed. It's, it's a really interesting time. So we're going to jump right into it. So before we jump into folks finance, I just wanted to give a brief overview of Algorand's governance program. Essentially, this is a way for Algo holders to vote on measures that help shape the blockchain. So it really keeps Algorand flexible and adaptable as new information becomes available and as we forge forward into this future. But there are two aspects for you to actually be a governor and have your vote on these measures count. One, you have to commit um, a specified amount of algos that essentially act as your voting power. And then you cannot have your wallet fall below that balance because if you commit 100 algos, if your wallet ever falls below that to 99 even, you would become ineligible. The second aspect is you must vote on all measures, otherwise you would also become ineligible and you wouldn't receive the governance rewards. But you can already recognize that there's um, a potential problem here by soft locking the algos, they never leave your wallet, but by specifying that you've committed 100 algos to participate in the Algorand governance program, you it inhibits you from participating in DeFi or some of these other areas that are just starting to flourish. And this is where folks finance really comes in and offers an amazing service. They enable you to deposit your algo, be able to participate in Algorand's governance program, vote, let you still be heard, receive your rewards, while also still being able to utilize that liquidity that you've provided for governance within Algorand's ecosystem. So I just wanted to give a brief overview of what is Algorand's governance program. All right, so now let's jump into folks finance. You can see there are lending and borrowing protocol. You can see their total value locked. This is an extremely important metric to the Algorand Foundation. But if we just come over to the app, we can go right to the actual protocol. So on the left hand side, you can see the menu. And today I'm going to be discussing how to mint Gialgo with the Algo liquid governance. I'm going to talk about how we then deposit that as collateral. We then borrow against it. And then I'll briefly discuss the rewards aggregator. So we're going to go over some of the functionality. But then when we borrow, we're going to showcase the best way to utilize your Gialgo within the Algorand DeFi space. So the first area we're gonna be discussing is Algo Liquid Governance, and this is how you mint your G-Algo, essentially exchanging your Algo for a different ASA at a one-to-one -one ratio so you can still participate in governance while also participating in Algorand's ecosystem. There's a few additional benefits to actually using Algo Liquid Governance. Um, you can see them listed here. This early claim option I find very interesting because essentially they're allowing you to claim your uh, governance rewards early with G-Algo and be able to use that within the ecosystem. So that's a really unique feature. And then uh, folks finance just makes the profit off of the difference, but I've run a lot of numbers and the difference is not as significant as many users would suspect. So this early claim feature is going to definitely come up more and more. Um, it's a very interesting strategy. Continuous Geologo in the last period, they had a specific ASA just for period three. So now it is, uh, permanent, it's going to continue forward, which is great because they have a lot of big plans for 
having you providing the ability for you to purchase NFTs with Geolgo and do lots of other um, utility with it. So that's a fantastic thing. And then also voting. They're allowing you to vote on specific topics related to folks finance with Geolgo. So it's a really, really interesting program. So there's a lot of additional benefits. I just wanted to quickly share that. So I'm going to mint some Geolgo now. But one thing I just wanted to quickly mention is Algoana has an actual partnership with folks finance that if you mint over 2000 um, Gialgo before July 14th, 2022, your wallet address will actually be whitelisted for their version two. That's very enticing to me. I was already gonna mint quite a bit, but before we jump into the strategy, I just wanted to point that out. So I am actually going to mint 2,500 Algo. We'll click continue. We'll click mint. Perfect. So we can see it's a very painless uh, process. I've already have, I have 2,500 G Algo in my balance now, and I have an Algo commitment um, of 2,500. So essentially at the end of the period, I'll be able to exchange my Gialgo for Algo with the reward, but I've been given an ASA that allows me to actually tap the liquidity from the governance program. So that is the Algo liquid governance portion. We're gonna jump over to the deposit portion now. So the deposit portion is very straightforward. You can see they have lots of assets that you can use within the deposit portion of their site. And again, this is the tiny man um, pool tokens used as collateral. They even have ones for PactFi. So they're, they're very, again, all really integrating well within the ecosystem, utilizing DEX and really partnering up. So that's fantastic to see. So what we're gonna do, since we have a balance of 2,500 G, I'll go here. We're gonna go ahead and deposit all of it. We're gonna just opt in, sign the transaction. Perfect. So now we have 2500 FG Algo, which is folks G Algo. Okay, so now we're gonna go over the borrow portion of folks finance. And we're gonna go ahead and just borrow some algos. So I'm gonna borrow the max amount. You can see the collateral value. We have 2,500 Gialgo, and that's a 74.25% loan to value. So we're gonna just click continue, add to escrow. So essentially we're adding that Gialgo to an escrow account that is allowing us to borrow. So we put 2,500 up and we're able to get 1,800 algos right back out which is fantastic. This again is making that governance, governance commitment liquid. So we'll click borrow. I'll sign the transaction really quickly. Perfect. So we can see that I have borrowed. And so what is important to keep in mind with your borrow, right? We actually receive some rewards from the Aeneas liquidity program. Um, so some of the uh, algos that were provided to folks finance from the foundation themselves, you actually earn a little reward as well, but you have to pay, pay close attention to that 2.19% uh, borrow APR, which can fluctuate. But the reason we're doing all of this is because we believe that we can get a higher yield than the governance rewards. I wanna just briefly discuss the rewards aggregator. So the rewards aggregator is a way to claim additional rewards. It's this really, really unique um, aspect to folks finance. And essentially as you pay back your loan, you're given another ASA that you can use uh, to claim additional rewards. So it is just another thing to be aware of, but it's another great feature. So what are we gonna do with this 1800 algos that we just pulled out? So I actually received a tiny gachi um, NFT from Tiny Man. Um, this NFT was part of the compensation package that they gave to anyone that lost funds um, from an exploit. So not only did they make everyone whole,
they gave everyone a NFT. There's a lot of utility packed into just having this NFT. So I think Tiny Man is a really great example of why what Focus Finance is doing is so valuable. So I want to participate in governance, but I do know there are high yield opportunities out there. And I think Tiny Man has one of the highest yield opportunities currently. So since I have that NFT in my wallet, I am able to participate in some exclusive pools. So to begin, I'm gonna go ahead and add some liquidity to the Opulus pool. And I am going to just add, I'll add that 2000, but essentially I'm utilizing the algos that we just received from Focus Finance. I'm gonna click add utility, confirm supply, sign it. We'll get our pool tokens back. And so I was already participating in this pool, but I decided to pull out because I actually do wanna participate in governance, but the pool itself does not actually end for another 15 days. So I fall outside of the period when I would need to actually uh, be committed for the governance period. So this enables me to actually participate in governance, but then still utilize those algos to actually earn a really high yield. So if we come to the farm tab, I'm participating in quite a few different pools, but you can see I removed my stake from this pool because I wanted to actually put it into uh, folks finance and I wanted to actually participate in the governance program. So all you do is click stake to earn. And since I already have the uh, tiny gachi in my wallet, I have access to this exclusive pool. And this exclusive pool has been extremely lucrative. It is such, um, such a pleasant surprise that Tiny Man has gone so far above and beyond to make all users whole. And then again, partnering this again, this culmination of ecosystem and different partners working together to actually provide this incredible experience is really powerful because Tiny Man reached out to Opulus and other pools that were effect affected by this exploit. And then they pooled um, some assets together and they created these exclusive uh, farming pools for those that were affected by the exploit. And so, it's a really unique pool in the sense that they ha they give out 1,250 algos every day. That is the rewards pool. So you can see that we're waiting for a new cycle, but you can see I've already received over 1,000 algos from this pool. So there is just a lot of opportunities out there, and this speaks to that NFT utility I was originally um, discussing. I wanted to reiterate, you can see that this pool, this program ends July 30th, but I have to be committed by governance by July 15th. So that 15 day window, I technically will earn even more during that period than I will for the whole governance period from governance rewards. But I still wanna participate in governance. I still wanna help shape Algorand's, uh, the blockchain and the future of it. But I do wanna also participate in yield opportunities. So folks finance and the Gialgo, um, product is so powerful because it enables you to do both of these um, participating governance and actually yield farm. So this is the best strategy for um, earning a higher yield on your governance liquidity. Tiny Man isn't the only uh, DEX with some really incredible um, yield opportunities. So even after this program ends, I fully intend to go to PactFi and to HumbleSwap. Um, and HumbleSwap has a lot of really high yield uh, liquidity pools right now. So I'm on PactFi now. I just wanted to quickly point out some of my favorite pools. Um, I used to be in the Algo Go BTC and the Algo Go Mint and the Algo Go ETH pool, uh, all still really high yields. Again, these are high yields that it really does make sense to commit your um, algos through uh, folks finance, but then use that liquidity within some of these opportunities. The next decks I just wanted to briefly highlight was HumbleSwap. Um, they have some really lucrative pools right now, and I really implore you to um, look through the pools. Obviously, you have to be able to assess your own risk, but being able to tap your governance liquidity is so valuable to the ecosystem. It helps with the total value locked, but it also enables you to earn a higher yield, participate in the ecosystem in ways you see fit. So I mentioned some NFT utility, and I just wanted to highlight a few different projects that I think are really exciting. Um, and I know there are so many projects and so much more to come. But the first um, NFT utility that I wanted to discuss 
was the NFTs that are actually being minted by the para wallet themselves and distributed for those that participate in governance. Um, they've alluded to in their most recent blog post that different combinations will result in different themes of the app, which I think is really interesting, but I think there's so much more to come. So I find these NFTs uh, very interesting um, and I think there'll be lots of utility to come, but I even could see a new project wanting to be able to identify those that have been heavily involved with Algorand for a long time. Um, and this is a good way to identify those wallets. Um, I do want to briefly mention the folksy guys. I think this is one of the most unique um, projects, the treasure hunt. Essentially it's a discord game where they're having users find the folksy guys that are holding um, a item that is related to a clue they give. So it's a really fun game. Um, I'm really excited to see where this goes, but again, the folksy guys are part of folks finance. So it's just a really unique project. And I just, and they've already alluded to some of their uh, NFT utility as well. And you can see they've already um, explained a few of their potential benefits for those that hold a folksy guy, you know, possibility of joining a private group, giveaway, customized merchandise, fair and event tickets, possible decision-making power on minor upgrades, creation of the folksy guys metaverse room, participation in the treasure hunt. So again, I think this is all just the beginning, but it's really exciting to see different projects and how they're utilizing NFTs. Knitheads is a really interesting project. I just really love their NFTs. I really love the artistry behind it and it's really creative and it's a really fun community on Discord. Um, and how they're utilizing some NFTs is they have a Discord game called the Pinata, which allows you to smack a Pinata that holds another NFT. And the damage you do to the Pinata depends upon how many NFTs you actually have in your wallet from this specific um, NFT uh, series. So it's again, it's just like a fun example, um, but there's so much utility to come. I just, I love seeing all these projects really explore different ways to utilize NFTs on the Algorand blockchain. Um, and then the final one I wanted to point out was Algorand Casino. I think they're doing some very interesting things with some NFTs as well. Their most recent NFT that they have for a raffle right now is actually a way for you to reclaim up to 1% of your losses on their website one time and then a grand prize winning NFT to claim up to 10% of your losses one time. Um, so it's just, it's really interesting to see all these different projects um, utilizing Algorand, using, utilizing NFTs. And I love to see this merge between DeFi and NFTs and all these different ecosystems starting to blend together. And I really have to commend um, folks finance for what they're doing. They're really adamant about getting the community involved. They're seeking feedback. They're having lots of Twitter spaces. It's a really exciting time. So I'm just excited to be here and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you are taking away a um, strategy or coming up with your own strategies on how you could tap your uh, governance liquidity and utilize it throughout the Algorand ecosystem. I hope you have a great day.